Hey everyone, this is Sailor and I'm here with a quick update. As you guys can see, do 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 do, he is finished. For those of you who haven't watched my other videos, I bought this guy, a Hujo Arthur, a couple of months ago with the intentions of modding him. And I didn't know what he was going to be and then when he got here I decided he was going to be an orc. Um... Hujo Arthurs are not green, or do not have the option to be green, so I had to make him green. Uh, it, this process took a little while, because I had to sand him, sand down his seam lines a little bit, and then I went ahead and sanded um, his torso piece a little bit, uh, and some of his leg pieces, the inside of his... Um, this, the, let me have the dolly junk of the thigh joint a little bit and uh, suaded him because he didn't really like to pose very well so I fixed that I also sanded his neck because his head wouldn't sit on there all the way right so it sort of looked really weird just like the head was just barely sitting on the neck. But I sanded him. I, I tried to dye him more than once. Um, I had heard on different forum sites and actually seen in person a dyed Hujo doll. And I've heard people talk about dyeing them. And I've seen tutorials on how to dye them. And, I've looked, and all this stuff. And I tried everything, and none of it worked. I, um, did the red liquid dye, did the red, uh, powder dye. I did the, uh, different brands of fabric dye. None of it seemed to work. Uh, none of it was, you know, none of it worked. It only tinted him, stained him slightly. You know, nothing worked. So, what I did was I sprayed him. And it worked fairly well. I mean, there are some pieces on his joint that are flaking a little bit, but um, those are also the joints I hadn't sprayed with sealant. So, I'll probably take him apart again at some point and then spray him once more. Uh, the only issue I have is with my sanding sort of left a gap in his back, but, eh, it happens. But I did his face up recently as well, and just strung him tonight, actually. And, uh, I'm really, really proud of it. I, you know, I'm not a professional by any means, um, but I'm, I'm really proud of myself. Because my face-ups till this far have all sort of sucked. Like, really badly, terrible, terrible face-ups sucking. Um, but I got the sealant, and I'm actually redoing all of my doll's face-ups except for Ivan. And he'll keep his default face-up, and definitely if I can help it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me see if I can show you his face. He's got his teeth and his woolly caterpillar eyebrows. And if you can, I don't know if you can see that, on both sides of his face, he has these red slash markings, which um, actually came to me as I was um, doing a doll slash avatar creator on one of the doll websites. Um, I know a lot of people have seen this one because it's been linked on Tumblr a lot, but they had the, one of the options was, you know, giving the character green skin and these red slash marks, and I was making him on there because I had actually not completely figured out what he would look like, but I know I wanted him to have tattoos, and thus the red face marks were what I decided to do, and then I did the red face marks, and was like, hmm, I think I should do that around his whole body, and 
as you can see, he's got it on his um, collarbone. He's got some two on his neck, on his upper torso, and two on his lower torso. On his uh, upper torso, on his ribs, right where the joints meet on the lower torso, and I can't think, for the life of me, I can't think of what this bone is that, um, bone that men have, but yeah, and like I said, I'm working on the other dolls' face-ups, um, and they'll be soon, done soon, hopefully, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with him. I did, I uh, love what I've done with his face up and his body blushing and his tattoos. Um, his wig is awesome. I actually got this in a trade from one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of. BJD Pay It Forward. That's it. And then his eyes I got from Alice Collection. And when they got here, they were really dull on him, or they looked really dull, and I didn't like them, and they didn't sit right in his head. Uh, also, I sanded his eye wells a little bit on the inside, because no eyes I tried would fit well on him, so now they fit really well, and they look incredibly vibrant. Wow, they are actually glowing in the camera. Uh, they look very vibrant on him with the green skin. I'm so happy with him. I don't know if I said his name in this video, but his name is Thrush. I am in the process of working on this on his story because I don't he doesn't have a lot of personality or story or anything yet. But now that he's, you know, uh the doll itself is finished, I can start working on clothes and personality and other stuff for him. But yeah, that is a quick update that actually got really long really quickly. I can ramble it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say for now. Um, I'll be posting a couple of videos probably in a couple of days. Some prompts that I want to do and I'll show you my finished face up for the other for the cats, um, in another video, but for now, that's it.